No. I'm Lori Wostel with Art Camp for Women, and I'm showing you my little journal from Journal Fest. There were several journals made at Journal Fest, but this was one they gave us with the emergency journaling kit. And uh, this is the third post in a series on my blog, keepanartjournal.com. And if you need to contact me, here's my contact information. Lori, Art Journaling, Lori W at artcampforwomen.com. And now I'm going to show you all my little goodies from Journal Fest 2011. And it's including all the little trades I got from other people at Journal Fest 2011. So here's the cover and here's a piece of the little bookmark they gave us. And here's someone's trade to me and here's my ownership information. And here's what I traded with people, a little Zentangle. And here's the other side of that bookmark. And so this is, a, this is my roommate, Corey, and this is what her sweatshirt said. I've always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library. And this is one of the trades from uh, Tady. And then I decorated the page around it. And one evening when we were journaling, a lady carved that stamp. Here's another saying, junk is the stuff you throw away, stuff is the junk you save. Here was a little tag by Z. And she didn't have a little thing on it, so I found something. And Colleen was my roommate across the hall, and she didn't bring a trade, so she made one while she was there, but it kept getting bigger and better. This is Colleen from Toronto. And this was another trade, this little ATC. I never got Pamela Janet's contact info correct. And then this was uh, the Tombow pens that Carla Sonheim showed us. I was trying to make aspen trees. And if anybody knows how to get this washi tape, I want that tape with the birds on the line. And then Diane Tr uh, Troutman had this little Halloween thing, and I had another trade with this orange and chicken wires, So, and it was Halloween season, so this little boo. So transparency I made in Liesl's Liesl lens class, and this is testing out the Tombow pens again. I love these Tombow pens. And Mary Bailey gave me all these little trades, this one and this one, and this is Mary's uh, website, Miles Beyond the Moon. It's actually a blog. And this was the mystery person. I found out she lived next to me in the barracks. And I kept getting little things. I got probably four trades from her. And I didn't know who she was until the very last day. I still don't know her name. And then this was another set of trades. This was her name. Joe gave me this trade over here, too. We kept all these great tea bags for pockets. It was great tea. The food at the fort was really good. Other people didn't think so, but I thought so. This was a piece of uh, decorative paper that I painted over. It had wax uh, batik in paper. It was really nice. Someone gave me this little paper doll and this tag, so I put them all together. And there's me. And this is kind of how it was there with crows and blackbirds and kind of cloudy beach weather. Oops, and this is... Ah! Shelly's trade was her little moo card. Sometimes the tea bags are not great pockets. And this was my next door neighbor. The first one I met was Margie, and this was her ATC she gave us. And this is Margie right here, if you can see her. And this, the youngest person at Journal Fest was Laura, and she made little uh, rubber stamps out of erasers. And you see these little vertical lines here were from her eraser stamp, and this grid lines were from her eraser stamp. And they were just the sweetest little stamps, and they work really well. And the next page I don't like very much, it's my traveling stuff. It looks how I look when I'm done traveling, kind of ragged and beat up. And there's a Carla Sondheim art. And then there's Artist Seller. Mukard. 
And then there's some in, some stuff about Port Townsend. So this is where we were. And this is a picture of the lighthouse out at the point at the end of the beach. And this is actually that lighthouse, and this was where we were. And this is the fort here. And there's a little welcome letter from Tracy and Tisha Moore. And then we had our workshops in there. And then I have the, the tide schedule, so I could tell when it was high tide and low tide, so I could go to the beach. I think I made a regular schedule to go to the beach, and I don't think anybody else did, but that was a great beach. And there's a, a floor plan of dorm 225, the second floor. And this is where Colleen and Lori and Corey and Margie lived, and luckily that was the bathroom right there. More travel. And that's the end of my little Journal Fest passport, but when you look at it all together, this is how it looks. And this is a little piece of art. This was Ingrid Diaper's trade, and I was in her class, so I got a trade from her. And there you have it, Journal Fest 2011. Then I wanted to show you my finished book from Ingrid Diker's class. This is the book we made. And what I had to do at home was still add the beading. This book could actually go either way. But I think it's more usable with the beads in the back. So it was great fun making this. It took the entire time working like a maniac. I don't have any words in it yet, but I will have. I think I'm going to use it for quotes. And there you have it.